Baltimore City Mayor Jack Young and Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski said tonight they plan to take the next 24 hours to decide how they will handle the reopening. We continue our team coverage tonight with WMER 2 News Ray Strickland. He spoke to a Baltimore Barbara who says he's happy and he's been waiting on this day for the past two months. While it's unclear if the city will implement its own restrictions, the news governor Larry Hogan will lift the state stay at home order. It was music to Thomas Rodriguez's ears. When we spoke, he was grinning ear to ear, happy he's finally able to open his doors. But even though he's excited to get back to business, he also fears he could be forced to shut down again. Two months is a long time. Thomas Rodriguez is the owner of Milan Cuts on East Baltimore Street. Rodriguez says these past two months have been extremely tough. This stress has been something that has been different from any stress we ever had before. The husband and father of three is facing pressure to provide for his family, but he now says a huge weight was lifted off of his shoulders. We're happy we back. After Governor Larry Hogan announced barber shops can finally open again. People understand we as barbers, we not, we not only cut hair. We, we become friends with all these people. Like these people come to us, they ask for advice. They tell us what's going on with them, with, with their families. You know what I mean? So now it's going to be nice to see that. But Rodriguez says there's already been irreversible damage from the shutdowns. He says barbershop owners have been hit particularly hard, adding even his staff has been cut in half. I have a lot of friends that had lost their business, a lot of friends that can't afford to come back to business. They have to go get other jobs. Rodriguez is fortunate he's been able to weather the storm so far, but he also fears if cases begin to rise after reopening, his business will have to close once again. That's always going to be on back on our mind. And again, we will continue to follow any developments out of the city. In the meantime, the businesses allowed to reopen will still have to keep safety top of mind. Rodriguez says his shop will follow all of the health department guidelines. He says willing to do whatever it takes to get back doing what he loves. In Baltimore, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News.